Hello! It's finally time for Nuts and Bolts! Oh boy! I've got a daily quest ready to turn in. You... What? Eh, uh, you know. X Xbox does a thing. Is this a Banjo anyway. MMO? Yes. Anyway, I'm Ashley. And joining hey. me is Jesse. Yep. Hello, Ashley. Hi. Hey. Yep, there you are. No, no. just signed in. You Everything's <laughs> have, having so much trouble already. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's not the faults. That's cool. Yeah, rare. You reconnect so, your controller. Yeah, it's fine. All it's right. just because I unplugged it because that was on a short cable. So, full disclosure, I really like this game. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm gonna make sure large dialogue text is turned on. This was patched in after people complained that the dialogue text was too small. Alright. And let's start a new game. There's no portraits. What? Oh, no, no portraits. No banjo playing Game Boy. Once upon a time, there lived a heroic bear called Banjo, a rather loud bird called Kazooie, and an unpleasant witch called Gruntilda. When Banjo's sister was kidnapped, the bear and bird rescued her from the depths of the witch's lair, overcoming many perils and speech impediments to send Gruntilda tumbling to her doom. But she was nothing if not persistent, and surprising nobody, the old hag soon rose from her grave for round two. Our brave heroes once again stood in her way, and this second showdown ended just as badly for Gruntilda who really should have quit while she was ahead. Many years have passed and peace reigns in Spiral Mountain. So what became of the bear, the bird, and the witch? Imagine if this game was fully voice acted. <laughs> oh god, can you imagine how angry people would be? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> See, he's trying to mash. Mm hmm. That's not a very effective button mashing technique. I'm sure Kazooie you could not, yeah. Kazooie could not beat Canary Mary like that. Mm-hmm. Look who it is. Is she running again? Yes. Her sisters who told her not to arrive anymore are dead, so... Yeah, she killed them in a game show very suddenly. Yeah. Check it out. It's the brand new banjo game. Whoa, he's fat. Yeah. Go? He sure is fat. Yeah. Are they stopping you every couple of steps for this? Yeah, he's gotta he's gotta catch his breath. Alright. Look who it is, it's a ball. Hey, oh, you gotta stop. Look, look who it is. Hey. Remember that's cute. remember the idea guys? He's in high res. Yeah. He's also a wind up toy. Oh, wait, is that it wasn't always oh, well. like that, was he? No. This game has a very artificial created look. Hmm. Which is a style I like inside of this game. I really like how this game looks. I really don't like how the characters look when excised and put in, say, a racing game with a hedgehog. 
Mm hmm. Grunty, your hairline is awful. Yeah, her hair is falling out. Comic Sans. Yeah. The dialogue font in this game has always been an edit of Comic Sans. Ever since the first game. The, uh... This game had a very, very small dialogue font originally, and it was unreadable on standard definition TVs. I see. Yep. He does look a bit queer. Yeah. He's got mice. Oh, that's a lot of dialogue. Yeah. So one thing that people really complained about with this game is that the bumbles don't cover all of the text. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think it's perfectly fine that they only mumble a little bit for each text box, but that was honestly a complaint I saw a lot when this game came out. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna collect stuff. Let's go. <laughs> this intro really pissed off people who wanted a uh, a banjo game that plays like a banjo game. <laughs> By the way. Yeah. This dialogue kind of lacks something that the other games had. Yeah, I will admit that the dialogue in this game isn't up to the series standard. I don't... I don't like Log. I think Log's okay. I like the mice. They're just, like, just cuddling with them. I think that's cute. Look, she's in a robot again. Yeah. This is just like my favorite game. LCD brain. Yeah. She was actually very good in the last game. Yeah, because it was top tier. <laughs> Banjo in higher definition at least means that they get to express the characters through like some neat animations. Yeah. I, I really think this game looks really good. But yeah. People were already mad about this game, and that intro made them way madder. Yeah. <laughs> it's you a waited. bold choice to take your alienated fans and then immediately piss them off out of the gate. If you waited like eight years for a follow up, and then you got that. Yeah. Oh, man. It's our new hub world, Showdown Town. Oh, okay. The hub world is the best world in the game. Oh. I really like Showdown Town a lot. Also, I like the at least twice, which is subtly both acknowledging and not acknowledging Grunty's Revenge. Yeah. Hmm. 
Look, it's that thing. Yeah, cool. We saw it in the racing game. It's got a mumbo face. Yeah. It's a shitty cat. I think the cat's pretty okay. It looks like it belongs in a different franchise. Yeah. The cat also serves no purpose. Okay. That was a weird cutscene. Yeah. This isn't very banjo, is it? No. So we can pick things up using the wrench. I love Sonic 06. Yeah, it's a lot like that. <laughs> except better. Kazooie is now Silver the Hedgehog. Yeah, Kazooie is Silver the Hedgehog. <laughs> I won't compare this game to Sonic 06. It's just, <laughs> it's just like... Weird. Yeah, I could see why you would immediately get that impression. Yeah. Check it out, we got a bunch of vehicle parts. All of this is, is probably it... meaningless to you. Yeah, is Mumbo wearing suspenders and nothing else? <laughs> he's, uh... He's wearing overalls with no shirt on underneath. Oh, this game sucks. <laughs> he's a mechanic. That's what they do. No, that's not how they fucking dress. Some mechanics dress that way. They wear a shirt. So you don't get, like, grease and oil stains on your skin. <laughs> nobody, mean, this... nobody fucking does this with bare arms and, like, their nipples popping out. What do you... Why does he have a yellow belly? Are those his abs? I think so, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? What? I've no, never thought put this him on much screen. about his character design. Holy shit, that's awful. Put him on screen. Let me see him. Where is he? Uh, I'll give it a good look at it, but if when I'm out in the world, I should be able to go into first hate person him. and look at him. Oh my god. Why does. Why does he have a carapace on his stomach? It's like a turtle. I mean, he's always been shirtless. Oh, God. So this is just a quick uh, tutorial for the, the building tools. Yeah. We have to Gotta... rebuild our busted trolley. It's gonna look even worse this time. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, building tools are actually really good in this game. Yeah, they do seem pretty cool. I like it. They control well, they make a lot of sense. They're not like some games where you get to it, like get into the creation tools, and it's just completely incomprehensible. Yeah. Yeah, he's teaching us the key components, which are a cockpit, fuel, and power. You'll need all not? three of those in any vehicle you make. Unless you want to get weird. If you want to get really weird, you can make things that don't involve all of those. But for the most part, you use those three things yeah. in every vehicle. You can boke him. Yeah. There he is. Hello. He's Mumbo. Um, yeah, why does he have a yellow fucking stomach? He's always had that. He's always been shirtless and he's always had a yellow stomach. But it looks weird in this game. Everyone looks kinda weird in this like, game. No, he's like all stretched out like a human. Or like a big fucking Jinjo. He actually looks like a big long Jinjo now. Yeah. And it's, it sucks. Oh, 
We have finished our tutorial. Jeez. And now the was... game is like. Oh. The game is like, holy crap. You played the other games. There's stop and swap stuff. Oh. That's cool. Check it out. Stop and swap. Oh. But wait, there's more. They need to show us there's... all of this right out the gate. Uh -huh. Anyways, I think they should have left Mumbo in the N64 era. That guy did not age well. What the hell is wrong with him? Yeah. Yes, they have to show us every one of them. Or maybe they should have just left him more cartoony and, like, tiny. I don't know. Why were his hands so big, too? It's the style. Oh my god, it's still showing us things. It's still going. It's still showing us stop and swap. I'm not gonna remember where any of these are. Oh, but we've also done stop and swap too. Oh. Fan created blueprints for stop and swap too. Oh, Wait, we've also bought the DLC. Oh no. We'll look at the DLC late, like late on in the playthrough. It's not very good, but we'll look at yeah. it. Yeah. Now we're in the area play. where nobody knew what DLC was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So we can still collect music notes. We've also got these crates to collect. They've got vehicle parts in them, and oh. we just take them by Mumbo's place. After Log finishes telling us to go to the factory. Alright. Yep. The text boxes are kind of weird. So, without large text, do they just like squeeze into that tiny little space? All the text? Pretty much. The text boxes themselves are a little bit bigger with small text turned on. But they squeeze all of the text into a small space. Why didn't they just make the boxes and the font bigger? Mm -hmm. Let's grab this crate and then we'll head over there. Also, he plays with his eyes. That's cool. Okay, log, we get it. Please let me turn the crate in. We got a fist. Yeah. Huh. It's a weapon. Yeah. We've already figured this out. Mm hmm. We already know all of this. Oh no, I hit X next to him a bunch of times and it queued up oh. a bunch of talking to him. Oh. People will not stop talking to you. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> and there's a little target showing you where to go. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go to that place. Oh, this, this looks fun. Yeah, I really like this game. I like, like hub worlds with people walking around in them and stuff. <laughs> you can run them over too if you want. They don't appreciate it. I don't it. know if I like that. I mean, they, I they're okay. I don't want to see Banjo commit vehicular homicide. You don't. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this vehicle kind of sucks, by the way. It the looks trolley. Like it. Yeah. They're leaving a strong first impression. Yeah. By the way, we can pick these up. Oh, okay. Carry them around Do you... until they collect them. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you know. Picking up notes is useful because sometimes they're in spots that are annoying to get to. Save.
yeah, this is how we unlock worlds in this game. Alright. We, oh, uh... Cool. Yeah, we just get the game globes. We put them in the spot. Are they gonna make little games out of getting the... the globes? Yeah, some of them are a little bit more challenging on how to get the globe to the spot. That's, I guess that's this game's version of uh, the Jiggy Puzzles. Yeah. Ooh, look at us go! Woo. We cannot... We do not have the traction for steep slopes yet. Yeah. Oh, you didn't unlock that beforehand? Okay. I think they were too busy tutorializing me on everything else of the game. Yeah. So each world is divided into acts. Uh, you only need to get the gla game globe to open the world itself, but then as you get more jiggies, you open more acts. So that's kind of how they do the backtracking in this game. Like, it's some of these later acts have so many jiggies as their requirement that you have to go and do other worlds to get more jiggies and then you can come back. Okay. And then, you know, when you come back, you'll have more vehicle parts as well. You'll be able to build more interesting things and they'll have more difficult uh, challenges in them. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's talk to this penguin. Alright. Yeah. Oh no. Should we go talk to uh, Bottles before we go into our first act? No, just leave. He's right over there. Just go. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I don't want to look at him. You, you gotta see dead. his new design. Oh, I'm sure he has some weird fucking exoskeleton on him. Because he's a fucking insect. He's actually a mole. I didn't know that. But you didn't know he's a mole? I didn't know he was a mole. Okay. <laughs> oh, these are fun little intros for each world. Looks like a Wii Sports map. I can see that. Is this dress appropriate for farming, at least? It's more appropriate for farming, yeah. Oh no. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> they brought Humble Wumba back. Oh yeah. They brought everyone back. Except for the people they didn't bring back. Like Canary Berry, she's not in this game. Well, she actually would have fit in this game, wouldn't she? Yeah. You can fly, you can have actually fun challenges against him, maybe. Yeah, you could have a real race where you yeah. just control a blade instead of mashing an A button. So do all the familiar Banjo characters play different roles? Yeah. So, in order to get Jiggies in this game, we take missions from people. No. Banjo has opened his Patreon. Yeah. A little bit of uh, banjo Tui cannon coming back. Yeah. Is is he wearing shorts? 
Is he wearing pants? I hope he is. I can't tell. I don't think he's wearing pants. <laughs> they kind of keep rubbing it in, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> So, Is Mumbo beating beating fucking Klungo too? In the canon of this world. Either that or he's just afraid of being beaten because of past trauma. I'm looking at... Uh, I've got Mumbo on my fucking watch list. So, if you look up at the top, you can see there's a uh, timer. Yeah. If we get it within the blue, which I've just screwed up, so we might not. We get a trophy. Okay. If you get it in the yellow, you get a jiggy, and if you get it in the red, you get notes. Okay. And you get the full thing. Like, you get all of the low tiers as well. Like, since I earned a trophy here, I also get the jiggy and the notes. Yeah, what do trophies do? Uh, trophies we can turn in later in the game for more Jiggies. So it's Jiggies. Yeah. Alright. And I'm, I'm not going to promise that I'll do it on every mission the first time, but I will complete every mission to Trophy Thomas standard. Okay. Trophy Thomas. Yeah, that's his name, Trophy Thomas. He doesn't need to. No, he doesn't. He doesn't need to say it, okay. We are 20 seconds slower than Tyler, Tyler the, the, the Cremator. <laughs> oh no, this is not what I meant to do. Nice Please game card. Bring me back. Okay. So a really cool thing about this is you can immediately open up the, uh, the what do you call it? The leaderboards and actually okay. download replays. Hey, that's cool. So if you can't figure out how to do something well, you can just look at how someone else did it. Yeah, that's nice. I, I need to fix something. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, worlds also have Jinjo challenges. Oh, baby. Player's choice. Yeah. So, the game has both Log's Choice and Player's Choice challenges. Log's Choice forces you to use a specified vehicle created by the game creators, while Player's Choice lets you use anything, including ones from previous Log's Choice missions if you want. Alright. So Jinjo challenges don't have the ranking system, they just have pass-fail. Okay. This one... There's like five basic Jinjo ta challenge types that we'll see. This one is just get up to a certain speed, and we could do it in the trolley. Okay. Pretty much all you have to do is go downhill. <laughs> Very cool. It's a tutorial. And for helping the Jinjo, we get a Jinjo token. Very cool. Yeah, we'll see what those are for somewhat significantly later, because we can't actually... Like, if I wanted to right now, oh, I couldn't show you what they're for. That's, well, that's a little unfortunate. Hey, 
How do you feel about the Jinjo design in this game? Eh. Eh, eh. They look like Jinjos. Yeah, I don't like how they're like rapidly breathing and they're like... They look like a little stress ball in the center, just like pulsing in and out constantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eh, eh, eh. Yeah. He was having a casual pluck in the bushes around Mumbo's nuts yesterday. <laughs> so this is Jinjo Fetch. He gives you a hint for where to find the thing, and you just need to go get it. The timer counts sure. up, so it doesn't matter like how slow you are. Oh, cool. Yeah. Leisurely stroll. Yeah. Look, it's the hidden item. Or the lost item. We don't have weapons on our car, so the only way we can fight is to get out and hit them with the wrench. Later we'll have weapons on our cars. Yeah, you got a punchy fist last time. Yeah, I could I could go edit this and put that punchy fist on it right now if I wanted to. Alright. Yeah, Jinjo Fetch. Very casual. The timer always a... counts up in them. Yeah, this game does have a nice aesthetic. Yeah, I really like how everything looks like it was built because everything was built. Yeah. I think the like original designs and environments look pretty good, but I think some of the updated old designs kind of suck. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Yeah, we're the done more with I look at the Jin shows. Oh, okay. That was short. Mm -hmm. There's not much in Act 1. It's the tutorial act. So we have to actually collect our jiggies. Huh. It's a pointless game mechanic, honestly. Like, it's, it really just kind of feels like a little bit of extra busy work for no reason. Yeah, I could just have it, like, automatically go in. Yeah. Like in the other games. Yeah. Look at the size of that jiggy. All right, yeah, this is gonna get annoying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You have to do this for a bunch of jiggies. Yeah, 131 of them. Oh, that's gonna suck. Okay. And the jigovins are not all right there next to the bank. Oh God. Okay. But we're officially out of the tutorial. So that's cool. Yeah, now you don't have to talk to bottles. Yeah.